Hey elasticians, welcome back! The topic today is generating a browser har file specific to Kubata. Though Steph isn't with us on this video, we are reviewing one of her blogs, so it should be pretty fun. Let's do a quick overview and just remind ourselves what a har file is. It's a JSON formatted file that records a web browser's interaction with a website. Har files are used to track network traffic and are really helpful in debugging and visualizing a web page's performance and functionality. Elastic support specifically asks for these to help distinguish between UI and API layer issues. So is Kibana loading slowly or is Elasticsearch responding slowly? The blog, as you can see, is called Generating a Browser Har File for Kibana Troubleshooting. Does cover all supported browsers. So Chrome, Firefox, Edge, and Safari. For this video, I'll be using Chrome on a MacBook. So let's get into it. The first thing you'll see is a list of caveats for repeat users. Make sure you're using an incognito window. You have the super user role and make sure you've made the temporary overrides to Kibana necessary to get a full HAR file. So let's jump down to the prepare Kibana section and talk a little bit more about that. So Kibana as a UI does a lot of optimization on our behalf such as session caching and network optimizations. As you can see written here, it optimizes the user experience by compressing network requests and default disabling debugging. We need to temporarily disable these optimizations to further enable network introspection. So following right along with the blog, we're going to go over to stack management, navigating to account settings. The first, the first de-optimization <laughs> we're, we're going to make is by toggling on disable compression, save that, reload any impacted pages. The next will be enabling inspect ES queries, save, reload the pages needed. Now that that's all set, let's go ahead and hop to the next section of the blog. So this discusses opening a network tab. This varies a little bit depending on the chosen browser, but is relatively the same. So just remembering we're using Chrome and we're going to move forward with that. You're still welcome to use whichever browser makes your heart sing. For the storyline of this video, let's say that we're having some trouble with Discover and we're having a lot of slow loading problems. A really cool thing that we can do is use the inspect tool. And that gives us a really good overview of how long it takes the Kibana server to respond or how long it takes Elasticsearch to respond to Kibana's request. So the inspector tool within itself can be really helpful. But let's say that's not deep enough and we want to be able to get a little bit more introspection. That's where HAR files come in. Another one of Steph's really great blogs is solving six common issues in Kibana Discover Load. You'll see that the very first issue is page load errors and we specifically highlight exporting to a HAR file. In order to get to developer tools, you can click the top three buttons in the right of the Chrome browser, go to more tools, Developer tools does cascade off the side, so unfortunately you won't see it in this video, but you can also use option command I and it will generate it immediately. The first thing you'll see is that there are a bunch of network events already generating in the logs themselves. That's because the network tab is automatically recording as it starts. You don't want to stop it because then nothing will come in. You also don't want to use this clear network log option thinking it's stopping because it removes all the network logs that we need in order to troubleshoot further. So one thing we always want to make sure to do when pulling a HAR file and capturing a successful HAR log, dropping down to capture HAR log, is we want to make sure that we always refresh the, hard refresh the page or, page or hard reload the page. So you can see there are a ton of events coming in, but they're not necessarily what we're looking for. And there's a lot of muck. So 
if we want to, we can clear we can clear the network logs. So we have a fresh start. You can right click, click hard reload, and that's going to go ahead and reload all of the JSON and CSS session and user permissions along with all the network traffic. So we really get a lot of introspection as to what is happening. So just simplifying the view, we should be able to see very specific things to like our permissions, our space, the current data view, and just kind of how this develops in the histogram. And then you'll see the docs are starting to load. So it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. Once this is all here, go ahead and click export har. Let's go ahead and you can open an empty browser, open your network tab, and then go ahead, drag and drop, and you'll see all of this information right here in the har file, and that will show you that it's got everything you need. Next, just wanting to review, if you end up accidentally pushing clear network log, say that you don't realize you did, you download, and then you want to try to view it again, what's going to happen? When you try to just drag and drop it, it's just going to show you nothing because there's nothing in the har file. So just keep that in mind. But now that we know we've generated a successful HAR file, we'll go ahead and adjust each of our settings off because again, we don't want to leave these optimizations, these D optimizations functioning because they're not necessary once we've pulled those HAR files. Reload your pages as needed. Okay. The last thing that we want to just quickly talk about is sanitizing sensitive data. We trust that your team has done your due diligence in making sure that you've sent over data we are allowed to see. So prior to sending anything over, remember as these are JSON files, your team can edit them as needed. There are third party tools that are really cool. Cloudflare's HAR sanitization tool. We've added the related blog is super helpful. Just be sure to go ahead and run your HAR file through the browser one more time, just to be sure that it still generates when you do any sort of sanitizing. But with that, I think that's really everything that we have to cover for the day. So thanks for stopping in. I know it's quick but I hope it's helpful. Have a good day.